it became the intention of our administration to put up an institution where it can serve that specific objective, where students will be provided the opportunity to improve uh, in English proficiency, math, and science. Kung kaya nga po natin tinayo ang Quezon Science High School. Quezon Science High School is in the second year of operation. In the first year of operation, we had more or less 79 scholars that studied in the school. And unlike the other schools, other public high schools in Quezon Province that have 50 students in one class, dito po sa paaralan ito, we controlled it to only 23 per class. Now we are the first province in the whole country uh, to tap the ADEP program. Uh, so this is such a... Ito ay napakalaking karangalan para sa atin. Muli na po na naman ang ating karangalan. Muli, para mag-ibatago pa ito, ang ating church na lakas ngayon. Pati di ang mag-aaral nito. And you need to pass on your knowledge to your students. Kung isa na mangyari, kung nagturo na kayo, huwag kayo pa mag-iimpliyate ng BPO. Ayun naman siguro mangyayari yun. So, kailangan natin, kung ka-graduate, kaagad-agad, as much as possible, may mapapasukan siya. And with this industry, and with how the world seems to be moving, I think we can make sure um, that our graduates, after graduation, will have an occupation and will have a job. So here we see the vital role being played by the local government unit, by the education sector, by the private sector in having a more definite solution in addressing the problems of our society. So sa isang pong lahat na kasama, makikita po natin ang ating program na kasulat po ay welcome address to Governor J.J. Suarez. But siguro hindi na po ito welcome address. Ito na po ay welcoming of a new become of a, of a new industry in Kesa Province because right now we are laying down the foundation for a BPO industry in Kesa Province. Sa inyo po lahat mga kasama, maraming maraming salamat.